Yeah, hi, Ivan. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, whoo. I'm, I'm doing all right. A little bit exhausted from everything that happened the last weeks <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, release and everything with Illumi Shade. So uh, oh, I now I think all the pressure comes down and I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure like there was so much um, promoting and also obviously the preparation for the, the live stream. Uh, I'm sure that must have been tiring for you guys to plan all that and to do all that and the adrenaline as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot, a lot of work to do, but it was totally worth it and a lot of fun. So that's, oh, that's the main good. thing. I'm sure, <laughs> How are I'm you sure. doing? I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm just, um, you know, having a lot of fun doing these interviews and then um, also writing some new music as well in the meantime. So, I mean, because I actually I'm not a full time musician. I do work as well. But um, so because I work in the UK and a lot of um, job, uh, work is on hold there. So like I'm getting paid, but then uh, I'm just getting paid to just wait. <laughs> So it's kind of cool in a way. Wow. <laughs> so now you have time for interviews and music. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's why I'm cramping, cramming so many interviews in a week as much as I can. Because, I mean, obviously, once the situation gets better, I'm going to get busy. And obviously, you guys are going to start touring and things like that. So it's going to be a bit difficult to catch you guys then. So I think now is like the perfect time to get these yeah, interviews done. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I, happy I, everything worked out. Yeah, thank you for I'm having happy. me. Oh well, thank you, thank you so much for you know spending the time doing this. And well, uh, first of all, I have to say, I mean, every time like I watch any of your posts or any of your videos, like you often go hello everyone, and then like you just make people smile from the start of the video <laughs> to end of the video. <laughs> And then I think it, I think it's so cool because like I mean jokes aside, it's so nice um, for your fans to have that kind of positive energy from you, uh, especially during difficult times like that when everyone's just stuck at home. I mean most of us are stuck at home, not being able to go out as much as we used to. Uh, so it's it's so nice to uh, to see that you know. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to do the best out of this situation. And, um, you know, we're also doing with Elvati these Corona talks and it's also a lot of fun. So I kind of understand what you mean, like when you now try to like put in as many interviews <laughs> as possible into one week and yeah. and it's it's just it's, it's nice to connect uh, with other musicians, other people and yeah, just have a nice talk. <laughs> ah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So today, you're not doing today's Corona talk, are you? I'm I'm going to do one in two hours. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that, that was kind of like my concern. I actually dropped you a message and then asked like, oh, if you were going to be tired because I was happy to, you know, reschedule if you feel that you're going to be too tired. Ah! Or... Oh, I didn't no. even see that message yet. I'm very messy, <laughs> especially at the moment with the social media. I'm a little bit behind, but I will take my time to uh, answer. So I didn't see it, but it's fine. I mean, it works out perfectly. I guess it will, will be a bit late in Asia. You're in Asia at the moment, yeah. or yeah, are am. you? I am. It's yeah, not, okay, yeah. then it's maybe a bit late. <laughs> well, it's not too late. It's, uh, it's like just after 12, so it's still okay, actually. But I prefer uh, it this way. Because the internet is yeah. much smoother and we have less problems um, with the internet. So kind of uh, prefer it this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> since you, you have like All work right. to do after this, let's uh, try yeah. to make sure you get some rest before that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So shall we jump into the music then, uh, into the questions regarding the music then? Yes. Sure. All right. Let's awesome. Start. So, well, first of all, thank you again for doing this today and really appreciate it. And, and I'm sure all your fans um, and all the Illumination and Eluveti fans appreciate it as well. Um, thank so, you for having me. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm humbled to have you on the show. So, well, <laughs> you've been with Eluveti since 2017, if I'm not wrong. Am I right? So that's about yeah. three years, give or take. Um, so. Uh, I think Jonas roughly spoke about it, but then like, could you explain in your own words how this opportunity came knocking on your door? Like, you know, the opportunity to join such an established band. Yeah, um, basically everything started because of Jonas. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's stuck with me now. <laughs> now we're in two bands together, so <laughs> it 
<laughs> there's no escape no um <laughs> um we were at the same school he is teaching there and i was studying there back back in the days uh 2016 um and i remember very well when he called me for the very first time to talk about this we didn't really know each other that well i knew him by the name he knew me but you know we never really hang out together or something like that and um, but he knew i'm singing and that it maybe could fit with the elvati style uh, range wise vocal wise just um sound wise um and he actually just dropped me a message and called me later so hey I'm with Elvati now and we are looking for a singer. Do you want to maybe check it out? And if you like it, why not sending in something uh, like a, a demo? And then I uh, checked everything out and I was like, dude, this, this, I cannot handle this. Like, what the hell? But, <laughs> you know, um, but I, I really, I thought, hey, I mean, why, why not? Uh, sending in a demo it's always always great to get feedback from such a band um, with such amazing musicians and so on and I would be very curious just to hear what they what they think and I you know I had a call with Kriki and then I sent in Call of the Mountains um, and so on and somehow I think he he liked it a lot um, I think he had a good feeling from the beginning on this is what he told me afterwards you know and because it's also a risk for them to take me in because I never toured before. I don't, didn't really have band experience. I mean, I was only in bands during my school, uh, like music school education and so on. But I was never in, in a, how to say, like private band. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> and, a proper, um, proper, a band. proper band. Yes, exactly. And I mean, for them, it was also kind of a risk, but somehow Kriki just had a very good feeling and he fighted for it a little bit somehow this is how he he tells me um how it was and then um we met a few people from the band and me met just to you know see if it fits and so on and and then i recorded something with kriki um the same day just to see how the chemistry is going and so on it kept on rolling i went to a concert to see backstage a little bit how everything works and then I was I was in a month before before the first concert. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. I remember when I was um, I was at school then, and Kriki called me at around seven <laughs> in the evening, and uh, I was at school, and then I was just like, okay, now he's gonna tell if if they want me or not and then i have to make a decision do i really can i do it do i want it like you know i mean it's a huge challenge and um i remember I was sitting on the floor and i was like oh my god okay hello yeah uh, <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> yeah and now three years later three and a half years later it feels so natural to to be a part of it <laughs> the band <laughs> oh yeah nice. well yeah i bet it was like a very emotional and like it's like the it was like a big decision for you to make wasn't it like a really big decision for you to make yeah yeah definitely i mean i mean it just changed a lot <laughs> in my life I, it sometimes would be curious to see where i would be if i would have not joined ilu i wonder if there would have been another door or you know or if, if would that be more teaching or you know but i'm so happy um to that i got the chance and that i took the challenge as well i mean it was not easy for me uh, in the beginning as well and uh, you know uh, it's never easy to step yeah. into a band that is already established and so on and yeah but somehow yeah i grew with every challenge and so yes i'm very very happy and grateful <laughs> <laughs> that's good very happy to hear that so how does it feel like now three years later and then like is the band kind of like what you thought it would be when you initially you know chose to join the band or is it like more than what you thought it would be well i think for example touring it's so like you hear stories but i think you have to do it so you actually know how it feels like because there is so much more to it like you know being exhausted and and being happy it's everything in <laughs> in in during a tour and so i couldn't really like i i 
imagined that I would love it because I like to travel and so on and of course sing uh, as much as possible so I thought I would like it but there are challenges that you just face when you're actually touring and you have to experience to know like you have to experience it if to know if you like it or if you can handle it and so on so I think uh, I came to my border sometimes as well like it's like okay okay I need a break <laughs> also not only with touring but uh, of course everything but um, I think I got thrown into the cold water a little bit you know like just from from no proper band to Elveti and so on it's it's a lot of challenges, but um, I like challenges. So <laughs> that's good. Well, I'm sure you know you're you're in a very happy place now, and I'm sure the band is very happy with you as well. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I hope. sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> that's the case. Well, then, like I know that you you were still kind of in school when Elu, Elu called you up. Um, so mm -hmm. I and I kind of know that um, your school was kind of flexible with, you know, you be touring and all. So how did it work out? Because um, if I'm not correct me, if I'm wrong, you were supposed to graduate that year, weren't you? And then like, how did you balance with touring, you know, and, you know, obviously mm -hmm. um, trying to keep up with school? Yeah. Um... So when I joined ELU, I had still half a year until mm -hmm. my bachelor degree and then two years until the master degree. Mm -hmm. And I took the master degree now last last autumn. Mm -hmm. um, so everything worked out. I'm safe. I'm out. Yes. <laughs> I have the paper. <laughs> um, yeah, but actually the school was super super supportive i even talked to the like the main guy from i was studying pop singing actually to mm -hmm. become uh, like a, a singing teacher in pop rock i don't know something like mm -hmm. that um and he was like hey this is why you study music and you get the chance now to tour around and so on you go you go you when you're here it's fine when you're not we figure something out. So that was actually a huge, huge support um, because it was very important to me as well to to finish it uh, because it was a lot of fun as well and I learned a lot and so on. So it was absolutely no problem. It was very tough um, to be on tour and actually work on Illumishade because Illumishade is my master project. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I when I when we when we finish master degree, we have to have a project um, and music to it. So I had to write everything while being on tour because 2019 with Elvetti was very, very, very crazy. I loved it, but it was also like, oh my God, and, and finishing a, a master degree at the same time, that was tough. But luckily, as a luckily, um, Michalina, um, she huh. did at the same, in the same year, she also um, did her degree. Um, hmm. And I remember, for example, when we were in, in Mexico, so we had an off day and we just spent the whole day in the hotel working on our degree, you know. <laughs> so it was actually nice to have had, have somebody. It's also, she's also my roommate all the time when we're in hotels, right? So um, it was actually very nice to share it with her, like, okay, hey, let's work. Okay, let's do it. We can do it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually very, very, very nice. Um, so basically it's it was fine it was sometimes tough but i mean master degrees are tough right so <laughs> they are they are without a yeah. doubt <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I bet it must have been very tiring for you because obviously your job with Elu isn't just like, you know, an office job where you sit all day. That's a job that requires a lot of energy, like physical energy. Of, of course, there's also emotional energy that, that was needed, but then it required so much. I mean, it requires so much to be a touring musician. So like, I'm sure it was super tiring for you to like, you know, work on your assignments <laughs> during your off time or slight break times in between. Yeah, I mean, the hardest part was mostly that I always wanted to go out. I mean, for example, in Mexico, I remember we stayed the whole day in, in our hotel room, but of course I want to go out and see the city with the guys or, you know, <laughs> and this I think was the hardest part actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or like with my... When I'm MIDI keyboard in the plane, like if I'm in the middle, I didn't have any space. And I think that was the hardest part. <laughs> that was just a big laugh. 
Well, this is what it is. <laughs> oh well, at least yeah. you're done with it now, and then you're like, you're like free, completely yes. free now. Okay. Well, exactly. like, um, we'll definitely talk a bit more about Illumi uh, Shade because I've got some questions prepared for for that as All well. Right. So we will actually jump back to what some of the points you made earlier. Okay, is that fine with you? All right. Okay. So yes. since we were talking about um Elubeti. And now that you've been with the band for about three years ish already. So in terms of, you know, contributing when it comes to writing, you know, so obviously I think um, Kriegel and uh, Jonas, they work a lot on the, the, the structure of the songs and things like that. They, uh, and um, uh, I'm not sure if that's the first step or that's how all the songs start, but then um, Perhaps maybe some songs come from Jonas and then he sends it to Kriegel. Do all of you start a new song on your own or does someone start the song first and then um, um, you guys ship in? In Elwaiti, I mean, Kriegi is the mastermind. Kriegi is Elwaiti, right? Um, so he comes up with the, let's say, like a skeleton of the whole album like the the main idea he you know he's he's i always say he's the living lexicon about celtic uh, history everything so and he has his visions and he tells uh, to us everything and we can you know discuss and it's and then um without the Hinatos now for example he came up with a lot of um ideas and <sighs> Jonas, he was working very, very closely with Jonas together um, because T Jonas provided him um, riffs uh, and so on. And they were working on the songs and so they were clo working closely together. Um, and Matteo, of course, he has a, like he knows so many traditionals and he also could throw in some ideas. And for me, it was um, as soon as they have something ready, like a MIDI melody or, you know, just fragment then i come in and um i give life to these midi melodies <laughs> to to actually see how it sounds and so on so th this is f first for the pre-production just mm -hmm. so with the voice then of course the song develops as well because it's a huge difference to have midi melody or an actual voice <laughs> mm -hmm. um so this is mostly my part and um of course throwing in some ideas uh of course, um, but mostly now, last album, it was Kriki, of course, and Jonas providing a lot of stuff. I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So is it tough to combine, like, you know, ideas from nine people? Because, I mean, it's hard to even combine ideas from two people sometimes. I mean, you guys are like an eight, nine piece band and it's like a mini or orchestra on your own. <laughs> so how do you coordinate in terms of ideas? Because, um, you know, it's quite hard to, to incorporate everyone's ideas, isn't it? Yeah, yes, but this is why maybe we have so many instruments so everybody can <laughs> bring in their own ideas with the instrument. I don't know. No, it's, you know, it, it, we, we know how LVT sounds. And then, of course, you don't bring your idea, hey, let's, let's play a salsa groove, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a, maybe a little bit stupid example, but, um, yeah, somehow it always emerged somehow, so it it works because we all have the same vision. We know what's the album about, so um, and we also play what what we're supposed to play, and we give ideas, and then we discuss, and then we see. Um, but I think it works perfect, like like we did it for the last album. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think it's important that, you know, everyone has like the same vision, same goal, and also more importantly, the chemistry to be able to think of um, what each member likes personally and what the rest would like as, you know, a song as well. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. you guys definitely need to have that sort of chemistry when it comes to such a, you know, being in such a big band. Um, so, well, good job on like writing songs with like nine people, <laughs> <Thanks>. honestly. <laughs> well, yeah, like, Thank so, you. So, yeah, we were talking about like, um, uh, you know, you guys being like a mini orchestra <laughs> uh, as a band. So uh, when I saw you guys in London in November, I think it was November, if I'm not wrong, 
last year, November. Yes. And it was. Oh, you were there. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Like, so I was, <laughs> yeah, so I was standing, uh, you know, uh, towards the right of the stage. So um, oh. may not have got the full sound, but I usually pick a side, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But it was good. It was so, it was so, so entertaining to watch you guys because it was my first time watching Elu as well. So. Oh. Um, it was so entertaining because there were so so many things going on and we're not talking about like graphics or things like that. It's real instruments being played live with the hurdy-gurdy, with, with the flute and things like that and you with the harp and it, it was like, it was just madness on stage and it was like the good kind of madness, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, there's a lot to see. Nine people, like thousands of instruments. So. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, yeah. but it was, yeah, yeah. you guys put on, you know, a, Put on like a very very good show that night and i really really enjoyed uh, the, the evening yeah, thank you actually. thank you so much I, re I remember this this venue was so beautiful um like this old venue roundish it was yeah. wonderful i really remember this very mm. well it was it was a nice night <laughs> <laughs> nice if i'm not wrong like uh were you like just right behind where everyone was queuing before the start the show started um, because I know there was like a bunch of photographers and then um, and I think I kind of saw you there as well. Oh, it could be. I remember there was, yeah, yeah, there was a big line and I had to go backstage and then I had to sneak in and yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then like, I was like, yeah, I think I it's, yeah, and then I, th I was like, I think it's Fabienne, <laughs> but then I don't want to embarrass myself, so I'm not going to say <laughs> hi. <laughs> I should have but Yeah, to. it probably was me. Yeah, yeah, we went out uh, to eat something somewhere, and of course, I love London. I wanted to walk around, and then it sometimes gets a bit late, and then I mean, sneak yeah. peek, <laughs> sneaking in. Yeah. Oh well, it is yeah. what it is. Well, yeah. speaking of, speaking of live shows, um, so uh, how do you actually, as a vocalist, how do you make sure that you don't lose your voice um, in the middle of a tour? Because, like you know, you have to talk, you have to sing every day how do you do it i mean sometimes you guys go on tour for like a month so how do you make sure that you know you keep your voice intact and not break halfway yeah i don't really drink for example on tour um i i try to uh, sometimes you know i stay up late in the bus <laughs> it happens but i i also don't do this every night um uh, because I mean, the body is our instrument. We have to rest, especially during these intense times. Um, I warm up. I have my technique how I warm up. I don't really warm up that much. I'm. A, I just never did it. I don't. I don't need it like that much. Also, you know, just decent amount. That's good for me. <laughs> and um, you know, I also have breaks with Elvati while singing. Um, it's not mm -hmm. like I sing one and a half hours through. So mm -hmm. I think this also makes a difference. But of course, um, the songs are hard. They mm -hmm. uh, some some songs are very high. And um, so I, I try to not push too much when I sing. Um, sometimes maybe I push a bit too much because you know you have the energy you want to give it your all and so on and it can happen but I never uh, lost my voice because of uh, singing but it's annoying when you get um, catch a cold this is mm. really 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 annoying because then the vocal cords are swollen they don't close that well anymore to hit the high notes is uh, um, and so on if you still hit them <laughs> um and so on so yeah i think just trying to sleep a lot and not stressing about it i i still have to um practice this for myself to not stress like oh, please i i'm not allowed to get sick no no no, no you know <laughs> and then of course you kind of like get it <laughs> yeah. like yeah, uh, I think it's a lot mentally as well, and I still work on it because I have a lot of respect. For example, uh, last time when we were in London, it was a seven week tour mm -hmm. and I really had respect because we were playing like six shows every week mm -hmm. and I was like, let's see. And I didn't have problems, but I had a cold for like three days. So this is annoying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it happens. I'm not sure if you, I, not sure if you had a call in London, but then you sounded amazing that night. Mm. So congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you for putting on such thank a great you. show that night. <laughs> yeah. 
And yeah, and um, yeah, thanks for sharing that because I think that's like uh, it varies, doesn't it? Some some um, vocalists need to have like proper warm up techniques. Like um, I got the privilege to speak to uh, Lena, Elena as well. Uh, so I mean, she has like a proper warm up technique that she has to do before every show, which is you know obviously very different from yours. Um, and I know you're you're telling the truth because. Um, when I when I watched uh, uh, you um, during the Illumi Shade um, um, live stream, because you were kind of going on Insta Instagram live like a couple yeah. of minutes yeah. before that, and then you were like, "Yeah, I have to go warm up now." <laughs> I was like, "Wow!" That's like <laughs> Fifteen more minutes. I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> and, and actually, for that show, I didn't do a warm up. <laughs> like, I didn't have time. I was just running around and then stage time. Okay, but we we made a quick uh, run through before, so of course. But you know, like a proper warm up, I couldn't do. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm warming up with the songs as well, uh, kind That's of. True. You know. But yeah, I remember. I mean, we were seven weeks with Infected Rain on tour. Of course, I, you, I see you wear her uh, shirt. Oh yeah, <laughs> super cool. Like... <laughs> I love this. It's so cool. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I remember her, her, she has this plan, I think, uh, like proper warm up. And I will definitely also now during this Corona time, um, now I plan now after the Ilomi Shade show, I have a life again. No, but um, <laughs> I also, uh, want to improve again with the vocals because sometimes you're just on the road, on the go, and you don't really have, or I don't take my time um, to proper, like, to technique um, again, you know, and I want to do it again. And I definitely will look everything up now-ish when I have energy again. And um, yeah, because now is the time for this kind of stuff. Like uh, I didn't have, I don't remember when I last like did some technique, like proper technique exercises. Uh, and now I will take my time again. So I'm looking actually really forward to that. So to some nerd stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think especially for a musician, it makes uh, it's actually a bit difficult to work on technique when you're most of the time, uh, you know, either touring or writing songs. So um, I do understand that point as well. You just don't have the time, you know. Yes. And then maybe it's also priorities. I mean, maybe for for example, our, our uh, Alan uh, in uh, Elveti, he is still, although we are on tour, he does his few hours of drumming exercises. And uh, I'm just, I think, a little bit a different type, but I I did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot uh, of uh, technique stuff before joining Ilu, actually. I think just to build everything up and um, yeah, I, I love it. I mean, this is where I kind of come from. Uh, I grew, I like grew with this special technique that I that I learned, and this is like supporting me all the time, and it helps me to produce the sound in a healthy way that I want to uh, produce. Mm. <laughs> Somehow, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense, and it's it's so important for a musician like yourself to find your own uh, method to do it because you can't you can't force yourself to learn another person's technique. I mean, it may be beneficial to try to learn something else sometimes, but I mean, it's kind of important for you to have your own the the right way for yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for sharing, you know, how you do it, how you magically do it on, on tour <laughs> 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 to, to survive, you know, without losing your voice. So uh, thanks for that. So we we talked a bit about um, Illumi Shade. So that's the next, uh, next big uh, thing right. we're going to talk about then. So obviously, mm -hmm. congratulations on your launch, which was like a week and a half ago, about a week and a half. So it's like,